Hey guys, okay, so today we have got, um, I've got several, one, two, three, four foundations that I still need to try. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get to it. I think today I'm gonna try, I've got the Kika one in the works, but look you guys, it's, I feel like it's, if I get it open, I just wanna show you like the shade. <clears throat> See how light it is? Oh, well, I don't know. It might work out, but I just feel like I'm a little too dark for it to for it to do justice now. Um, which whoever thought I'd say that, right? <clears throat> so then I'm gonna go ahead and try this one today. This is the uh, Creme Shop BB Cream. It says full coverage, hydration, age defense, SPF 30 in the shade Fair. Now, even though this says Fair, like it looks pretty dark. So I'm gonna open it up. We'll get a little bit of a swatch from it and again like I'll we'll see I'll go ahead and swatch it and then if it's too dark I might try one of the other ones so we'll just see it's all sealed up for you so that's nice I got this from CVS oh yeah it's, it looks really pretty dark oh my goodness this has been sitting there for years oh my goodness CVS um it's like got a clog of product that is gumming up the works here so I'm gonna take my tweezers and just kind of break the seal as it were. Oh, it wasn't too bad actually. It was really a little thin film. See that? Not too bad. Maybe it's just, you know, what happens when they seal it on there. Could have been a heat seal. So, all right. It feels like it's not wanting to shake up very good though. So I feel like it might have been sitting on the shelf for quite a while. Okay, and so the shade does look a bit darker than what I would consider fair. Well, no, it's pretty fair. Um, so we'll just see. This may in fact as well, but like, I don't think it's the same. Well, maybe it is. I'm just crazy. Like, this just looks way darker than this. Maybe it's just because there's such a... What am I trying to say? There's just a lot of color, like, all together that it looks a little bit different. To me, this looks lighter than this in real life, so. All right, it's very creamy. So it says it's a BB cream. It also says it's gonna be full coverage, so we'll just see. I'm gonna start out with my fingers and then we'll just see. Oh, it smells exactly like sunscreen. Um, and this is one of the problems that I have with makeup in general is that because of all my pigmentation, when I try to put on a product that is the same color as my neck, which is what I try to match to, sometimes you can see the pigment against the pigment of the product against the pigment of my skin, the hyperpigmentation, and it starts to look really obvious on my skin. So I actually like the smell because I love the smell of sunscreen. It's like sunscreen with like just a touch of floral at the end. Yeah, it feels like sunscreen too. It's very, I don't know, like the only word I can use to describe sunscreen is a little bit greasy. It feels a little bit greasy. But I feel like it's also wanting to almost dry down. It's like I can feel like a subtle gritty powderiness to it. So I wouldn't call it full coverage, but I mean, you can see like I am getting some coverage and, and pay no attention to it. Let me, let me see if I can fix that. The sun is shining in real good today. Like it was not doing the other day. And um, it's reflecting off of my desk table even though like it's a piece of wood it's still reflecting the light and making it there be like a glare so okay I would certainly give this like a natural finish it's not matte but it's it's a little bit less shiny than a satin too but it's not fully matte I wouldn't say because you are getting some light reflection but keep in mind I'm right in front of the window so there's a lot of light reflecting off of my face 
and I'll check this in like other outside lighting and stuff. We we're we're gonna be out today, like doing a lot of outside stuff, so this is probably a good choice because of the sunscreen and all. And we'll just go ahead and let me just see if this has oxidized because I feel like it might have. Could be wrong. But I feel like it may have oxidized. Nah, I don't think so, actually. Nah, I don't think so. Okay. So just always making a test, just in case. So what was I saying? So yeah, this is going to be a good choice for being outside. And we are really going to be outside today at the lake. So it'll be a good test for the SPF to see if it helps. The problem with F SPF in foundations and stuff is if, if you care, I do not care about SPF except for the fact that I just want to keep myself from being fried because of the pain of it. <laughs> um, sunburned, I mean. Uh, if you care about SPF, so you're not going to be able to just use your foundation as an SPF. You'll need to do another layer of something else because in order to get the full protection of the SPF that is in the foundation, you have to apply like a teaspoon of product or something, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it is, what I just put on there is like a drop, even compared to like just a teaspoon of product. So, okay, it actually has a nice bit of a glow, um, but again, it's not glowy. It's not like, I wouldn't consider this dewy at all. At the very most, I would give it a satin finish and I'll check the package in just a second so we can kind of see what the actual claims are. But honestly, from my face to the mirror, it's actually looking really good. Um, I feel like I can get away with this, even though my face might have a little bit more color because as I have said in the past so many times, um, my face is darker than my neck. And what we don't want is our face to be one color and our the rest of our body to be another color. Um, now it's hard for me to kind of find that balance because my hand is way darker than my neck and my face. My face is full of discoloration and hyperpigmentation. We don't want to match our foundation to that. We're trying to cover that up. And we're trying to make the skin look as even and uniform from the top of our forehead to the bottom of our neck. But if you guys can see, like this is not a low cut shirt at all. But if you can see just below that line of color, I am white as a ghost, real white. But that, my face is never that color, and even my neck is hardly ever that color, except for in the deepest of winter time, because then I don't get any sun at all, and my <clears throat> all my pigment goes, pigment goes down. But it's still a bit darker than the skin underneath my, where my, where my skin doesn't show, the skin of my body doesn't show. But my hand is always darker, regardless of everything. It's always darker than my neck and my face. So... So that's going to look a little bit weird sometimes, but the human eye and mind can kind of process that a little bit better than it can process dark face, white neck with an obvious line of demarcation and even a not so obvious line of demarcation. Um, and I don't want that. I want it to look as smooth as like, it's just my same skin color, all smooth, all one color. Okay. So if you see me putting on makeup and you're like, no, uh, -uh that's just the same color. It looks, it matches your skin exactly right. If it matches my face, it is the wrong color. It's too dark. My face is darker than my neck. We're just clearing this up because I get comments sometimes and I probably won't even try to clear this up again because if you're, if you can't understand this now, I don't know what's ever going to help you understand. Okay. So most of you out there, I think get it, but there's a few people that just don't get it. So I'm just helping to explain it so you can understand. Okay, and I know like next to my hand, this looks too light, okay? But it's because my hand is darker than my face, okay? So that's what we're doing today. This actually, from my face to the mirror, is looking really good. Let's get an up-close look. We'll talk about some claims, and then we'll be done. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this right here. But because of all my large open pores, this is going to be a problem. Um, and the pigment, I can see it in my dermal ridges, my fingerprint. Um, it's caking up in there, so it's gonna, you're going to be able to see it on my face a little bit, probably. Um, so just be aware if you have um, 
large open pores or large pores, especially pores that you're trying to hide, which aren't we all, um, this is having a difficult time doing that. If you use primers, I don't. I have primers. I've got pore, you know, minimizing, reducing primers here. I just don't use them because I just don't remember to do it. Um, I, I, it's just not part of my routine and I just don't think I'll ever be able to get on board with a primer. I just, and I've tried them, but I don't use them regularly because they just don't ever even seem to make a difference in the first place. But if you have a pore blurring primer that you use and know it works and love and all that, this might work out for you if you wear that underneath um, to blur out all those pores, okay? I just personally haven't been able to find one. So anyway, uh, let's talk about some claims. All it says is full coverage, hydration, age defense, SPF 30. Designed in Los Angeles, but made in Korea. Okay, so we've got that. Um, one formula, numerous benefits, apply by hand brush or sponge, built for stronger coverage. Conceals imperfections without thickness or heaviness of traditional foundations. Well, it's, it is thick. Um, it doesn't feel heavy on my skin. It just feels like a moisturizer. So it's, it's not thin though, like... <coughs> It's not like a thin formula. It feels like a thick cream, a thicker, not like the thickest, but it feels like a lotion, like a moisturizer. Um, moisturizing formula reveals healthy glowing complexion. Well, anti-aging ingredients help diminish appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, and dark spots. Well, and has SPF 30, pr protects against harmful UVA, UVB rays. So, um, yeah, that's that. I feel like... Um, this isn't the most revolutionary product. I do like it. Like from my face to the mirror, I think it looks really good. It looks very natural. Um, now, the closer you get to me though, the more you're gonna kind of see it on my skin, especially around my pore area, which is my biggest problem area. Anyway, I'm not looking too crepey around here. I have a problem with that here. Um, and honestly, I might even just not wear concealer today because it's just looking that good on my under eyes. It's not completely concealing them, but I think it just looks really good. Um, from my face to the mirror. Now, again, we're going out today to the lake. Um, and so while I'm in the car, it's gonna be an hour, about an hour drive. So while in, I'm in the car, I'll inspect it and make sure, or just to see you know, what's going on, how it looks. Um, I might even bring some concealer with me just so I can see how the concealer performs over top of it and all, you know, so we can kind of have a full, how I would normally wear it opinion on this product. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe, ding my bell, leave your comments. Always leave your comments. I get them anyway, so I might as well invite you to do it right. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.